Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will talk about Mac, in particular CBC Mac. So what is a Mac? Mac is message authentication code. Uh, suppose you are Alice and you wanted to send a message to Bob. You both agreed on a common key K. Um, using a Mac, you will sign basically uh, your message so that um, Bob can verify whether it has come from you, meaning the one who knows the key K. Okay, that's basically what Mac is. So you have two sites who want to uh, communicate securely, but want to make sure that the message is coming from a person who has the same key K as the recipient. That is the, the whole purpose of a Mac. Okay, so I'm going to take one particular Mac implementation. It is called CBC Mac, which is based on um, block cipher chaining mode that we talked about earlier. So there are some interesting subtle differences between CBC and CBC Mac. And uh, it's worth to know some interesting differences. Okay, first of all, in regular CBC, uh, we are discouraged to use an IV uh, zero, for example. IV in regular CBC must be a truly random number, or cryptographically secure random number. Uh, but in the case of CBC Mac, it must be initialized to zero. As you can see here, IV is zero. So why is that case? So let me show to you what happens if IV is non-zero. Okay, if IV is non-zero, what can happen? Why is this a problem? If IV is a non-zero scenario, you can simply swap the first block with your IV, right? Just take the B1, put it here, put IV here, and you get the same message tag because XOR is commutative, right? XOR of A and B is same as XOR of B and A. So you're able to construct a MAC tag for a new message, okay? Although that message may be senseless message because IVs are usually uh, random numbers, but if you if you put in a meaningful value, uh, say in this case, take some something that changes the meaning of the text, then um, Bob will not be able to detect that. If Alice is doing this uh, to, to Bob or, or Eve is doing this to Bob, Bob will not be able to detect this, uh, that, uh, that uh, somebody has modified the uh, plain text and uh, will pass the MAC verification because there is nothing in the MAC verification that will stop this. Okay, that's the main point I wanted to get across now. So let's take a step back and reason about what is CBC MAC. How is it really working? CBC Mac in its correct form is as follows. You have the, uh, the first block will be XOR with zero, which means there is no effect. And you encrypt that first block, you get some gibberish from uh, AES or whatever block cipher encryption you're using. And that becomes the, uh, the XOR key for next, uh, next block. So M2 is the next block of plain text that gets encrypted using that uh, XOR. Uh, and then you send it to uh, block cipher. So you get a random looking text here and so on. So this is the, the traditional CBC structure, except that you get the last block output. That last block output is called the MAC output. Okay, this particular thing is the tag we call it. Okay, so anyway, we will talk about different attacks on CBC MAC later, but today I wanted to just show to you only one attack, right? The, the attack that what happens if I replace IV instead of zero by something else. So I just uh, explained to you now that one simple attack is just uh, take the first block of the plain text and swap it with your non-zero IV. Then you're able to construct a new Mac, uh, which is basically the same as the old Mac, but the message is different because you swapped the plain text of the first block with the IV. And the decryptor will not be able to detect that uh, corruption because um, XOR is commutative. Okay, that, that's all. That shows that CBC Mac should not be used with a non-zero IV. 